Hello students, welcome to my channel Hans Commerce Tutorial for the lectures on Commerce Accounts, Finance and Management. My suggestion to you, before watching the video, please go to the description below my video. You will find a link there. Take a printout of the problems given in the link and keep it ready before watching the video so that you can be able to understand the problem, the solution and the explanation to get the maximum benefit from the lectures. Thank you. Ha. Unpaid sales commission at the beginning of the year 2005. December ka jo sales commission tha wo January mein pay kar di. Ab February ka jo sales commission pay karna hai wo January ka sales ka hai. To January ka sales, the January sales are 1 lakh. To 1 lakh ka 5% 5,000. उसी तरह मार्च में जो सेल्स कमीशन पे करना है वो फेब के सेल्स के ऊपर तो फेब के सेल्स कितने 120000 120000 का 5% परसेंट 6000 दीज आर द कमीशन सेल्समैन कमीशन नो फिक्स्ड कॉस्ट नो वर्किंग नोट नंबर 2 विल राइट डाउन हियर इट इज अज्यूम्ड that depreciation is rupees 3000 included in fixed cost therefore cash fixed cost is equal to 8000 minus 3000 is equal to rupees 5000 Actually, it is purely based on assumption because in the problem it is not given how much depreciation is there. Simply clue is given that depreciation is included in fixed cost. But how much it is included not given. So we make the assumption 3000. 2000 will accept, 1000 will accept, anything we can take. So 5000 rupees are the cash fixed cost. Over. Now we take the total. Here 27,500. Here it is 0. 16, 21,000. 21,000. Right? Now surplus or deficit. 1 lakh minus 27,500. It is 72,500. Surplus. Here 1 lakh 10,000 minus 0 is 1 lakh 10,000. Here 1 lakh 35 minus 21. 1 lakh 14,000. Surplus. Now opening balance is given in the problem 10,000 rupees cash balance opening. So it will become 82,500. Here also 82,500. Now add up 192,500. This will become 192,500. Total is 306,500. That's it. 306,500. This is the cash budget. <clears throat> so totally six problems we have done on cash budget. Remember, this, in this unit number four, we have totally five topics. The five topics are cash management, receivables management, inventory management, working capital management, and last one, dividend policies. So in examination, the problem may be asked from any one of the topic. Very rarely, sometimes they will ask the problem on cash management. But most often, the problem will be asked from dividend policies or working capital or uh, receivables management. These three are very important. The problem of chance zyada hai. So that is uh, dividend policies, working capital and receivables management. Totally five. So we have completed one part. This part is cash management. So how to manage the cash by making this cash budget. Inshallah, we'll start the next unit in the next session that is uh, receivables management.